Race number five at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 2.48. It's the Peninsula Dining Room Belmont Park Book Now Handicap over 1,300 metres. The replay horse can look at the runner-up performance of Acadia Prince at Ascot on the 5th of May. Sir Snugglelot made the turn together. Sir Snugglelot had reached the leader length away. Hoboken into the clear Arcadia Prince, but he has to draw the whip on the three-year-old. Hoboken, Sir Snugglelot, Arcadia Prince taking a long time to get to them, but he's coming now. It's Sir Snugglelot just in front. Arcadia Prince coming at him, but the post is going to come too quick. There's no reason to overcomplicate the analysis of the replay race. Simply put, Arcadia Prince ran out of turf to catch Sir Snugglelot three weeks ago. But Belmont Strait is a lot longer than the one at Ascot and also the race is 100 metres longer on Saturday than the replay event. So Arcadia Prince goes on top here. Look, the inside gate certainly helps, even though this horse will probably settle in midfield. The danger, and a big danger for mine, is number four, Cheston Flyer. Been screaming out for more than 1,000 metres. Finally gets up there. Quick backup, ran seven days ago, finished third behind Masquerade. Boy Hill goes back on top. Definite claims here. Wouldn't be at all surprised if Cheston Flyer beat the Peters Galloper. Number five, Reykjavik. Good overall speed rate in the last start, but certainly got a query about this his horse's ability to put races to bed and to put decent sectionals up over the final two or 400 metres. So only goes in for the miners. And then number seven, Patty Shadow resumes off what was a pretty quiet trial. She split uh, Firefox and Action last time out back in February. Was over 1,600 metres rather than the 1,300 metres, but that's an eye-catching form line for a race such as this. On top selection in race number five, going to go with number three, Narrowly. That's Arcadia Prince to beat four Chest and Flyer, then a bit of a gap to number five, Reykjavik, and seven, Paddy Shadow. Race number six at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 3.25. It's the Glenroy Chaff handicap over a thousand metres. The replay horse can look at the last start victory of Stageman at Ascot. Led by two and a half to Emily Argo. Alpha Sky's down near the rail. Stage man continues to run on. But Fabagino's opening up now. She's got all cylinders blazing at the 100. Fabagino, he hasn't moved on her yet. Fabagino comes away from stage man Alpha Sky. Golly, she's a class filly there. Stageman lost no admirers in finishing just two lengths behind Fabagino. That was four weeks ago. I think the tempo of Saturday's race at Belmont should suit him from his outside gate. Slight gear change, lugging bit first time, slight tweak, that certainly helps. And that Fabagino form race, certainly those horses that were in the top three or four there, that's a very good form reference. So five stagemen goes on top. From number six, Heart of Heart, who I think is the most interesting runner on the entire program, has been gelded. It's got Paul Harvey aboard. I remember Nick Cox telling me that Paul Harvey had a massive rap on this horse when he rode it in its first couple of trials or maybe just some of its work. Two trial wins, it was only a length off Fabergino last preparation, conceding five kilos to the grade galloper. Heart of heart would not be at all surprised if it ran a massive race. Number one, speeding comments running really well. Uh, Taylor Stone is suspended, so Kate Whitten takes over. Good gate, speed on, should suit. And then number four, Guns of Navarone. Ditto really, running well, good gate. Steps up in class, but he's doing nothing wrong at the moment and you can't knock its form. Others to mention here, number eight, Sophia Seafit. It'd be good to see her back as well. And number 11, the last start winner, Route 88. This is a good race. Race number six, I'm gonna go with number five, Stage Man, to beat number six, Heart of Heart. One, Speeding Comet, and four, Guns of Navarone. Race number seven at Belmont on Saturday will jump at four o'clock. It's the feature, it's the Skyracing.tv Provincial Championship Series final over 1,400 metres. The replay horse can look at Vital Silver finishing second at Pinjarra Park. And just in behind them was My Lania. Three Sun and Laurentino is putting in down the outside. At the 200, though, it's Vital Silver coming after the leader half a chance. Rock My Lady's getting clear. Laurentino and then Three Sun. Vital Silver with Rock My Lady starting to charge. Vital Silver, Rock My Lady. They hit the line. Rock My Lady's got... Have a look at the splits out of that race. And what you'll see is that Vital Silver ran out of puff over the final 200 metres. Certainly could forgive that, though. Was first up. Should be fit a second time around and he maps better than most of the rivals here. Looks like he's possibly been set for this race. He's potentially the best galloper in the race as well, by some margin in my opinion. So number two, Vital Silver, drawn well, goes on top. Not drawn well is number seven, Laurentino, but there is plenty of speed drawn out wide, so may be able to come across under a forceful ride by Jason Brown. Both of Laurentino's wins have been over 1,400 metres, so that's a positive. Goes in for second. Number eight, Rock Milady comes out at the same race as Vital Silver and Laurentino at Pinjarra. 
Used to be a Galloper base in Queensland. He's now with Trevor Andrews. Respect it. May well be unexposed in WA. Again, another horse has drawn a sticky gate. And number 12, Clever Keza, lightly raced. Won the heat at Northam is another you could really fancy had it drawn a better draw. That's why number two, Vital Silver, gets the top nod. Other horses worth a mention here, number one, Six for Spence, is a bit of a non-winner, however, and number 16, Three Sun, who comes out of that same race we've mentioned several times. On top selection in race number seven, we're gonna go with number two, Vital Silver, to beat seven, Laurentinio, eight, Lock Milady, and 12, Clever Keza. Race number eight at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 4.35. It is the Vale Allen Kroll handicap over 1,200 metres. The replay horse, and look at this exciting galloper, enticing star, making it four from four. In behind them, Hoboken, he's now out into the clear with Enticing Star and really having to respond here under Vigor at the 150 speeding Comets in front, Enticing Star taking a day, it's getting there though, now it's got the upper hand, it draws level Enticing Star and Pikey gets one back. It's not often you will go one out in the final leg of a quaddy, but that's exactly what I'm going to do on Saturday with number 12 Enticing Star, she's unbeaten, she ran only marginally slower than 32 and a half seconds for the final 600 metres of her odds on success that we saw in the replay. She's four from four. Absolutely no reason barring bad luck that she doesn't make it five from five. She goes on top. Uh, if you're looking for the exact horse, maybe number 13, Dynamite Dream. Two from two over the trip, including one from one over course and distance. Maps is fine in the front, along with Sir Snugglot. Did win a trial, has had nine weeks between competitive runs. I think that Jason Brown will do a decent job aboard this horse. Goes in for second. Number six, Sir Snugglot, tough, will be on speed. Query's probably the jockey here. Aaron Mitchell, he's north from three, never placed on this horse. This may well be a galloper that gets on better with the girls having looked at his track record, but Sir Snugglot in really good form and will never let you down. And then number 10, Kokapu. This is Punamu's half-brother, two from two in WA, but back in trip, up in grade, and has drawn the outside gate here. Respect, but certainly not on top. My top selection in race number eight is number 12, the obvious enticing star to beat 13 Dynamite Dream, six Sir Snugglut, and 10 Kokapu. It's now time to nominate my best bets on this Belmont card on opening day at the winter venue. Going to go in race number two, number two, market ruler, and then race number eight, number 12, enticing style. It could be a massive day for William Pike. I've got him on top in five of the eight races. It's easy to stay up to date with everything that's happening at Perth Racing. You can log onto our website or you can follow us on one of our social media channels. Until next time, bye for now.